Kim, there's a lot of questions out there whether you're bowling league or tournaments as to lane courtesy, and I know it's different for everything that you bowl, so let's talk a little bit about it. Right, in tournament play a lot of times we're, you know, it, it varies actually from scratch tournaments, you know, when you're bowling at a higher level, sometimes they, they look for what's called a double jump or if it's going to be one lane or two lane courtesy, so it's important to know when you go into an event what, what's, what the rules are. Absolutely. I know in league, for example, if we're bowling on lane one, if you're on lane three, you can bowl with that person who's on lane one because that's considered one lane and the leagues that I bowl in, the majority of the time it's usually one lane courtesy. Um, but one of the things that, uh, that people do get confused about is the spare shot. So when you take your turn and you leave a spare, I, I think people, there are people that wait for you to shoot the spare. Right. So now they're waiting extra time and then there's always the other case of somebody just going up there while you're in the middle of shooting your spare. And it's funny, I mean sometimes it happens because they, they think they're just being more courteous and they're like, oh go ahead and shoot it, go ahead and shoot it. Which really, I want to take my time, I want to be able to gather myself before I shoot it. I always feel kind of rushed when that happens and then other times when, you know, they feel like, oh I just want to get out of the way because they feel like they're in the way so they rush up and shoot it. And you have to follow it on both shots of your frame. It's, it's almost like it's a Lane courtesy is a personal preference depending on whether you've struck or you left a spare. Um, I know when we bowled on tour, the one pair rule was, you know, for example, again, if you're bowling on lane one, you don't bowl, the person on three and four does not throw a shot until that person on lane one or two was done with that, at least that first shot. And then once the first shot was executed, it was okay to take your turn. Right, probably one of the more difficult things I think to explain. It's very easy when you're watching it in action and I remember being most nervous about, we called it double jump then, but one pair courtesy. Um, you know, as you bowl a lot of the professional events and our Team USA events, that's the courtesy that we follow. And it, it's a little nerve wracking at first, but really it becomes much easier once you've done it and you see more and more players doing it around you. So Kim, we've discussed some of the details as to what we've seen both in league, tournament competition, out on tour, and let's now be a little more specific so, so people understand what we're talking about. So when we talk about one lane courtesy, if we're bowling on lane one, who can bowl? If you're on lane one, for one lane courtesy, the player on lane one and the player on lane three can bowl. Okay, so now there are leagues that say, two lane courtesy. So once again we use, if we're bowling on lane one, who can bowl with us? The player on lane four, so two and three have to wait. Until the turn is complete. Until the turn is complete. Exactly. Now, the biggest one, and we see this a lot at the women's championship, at the open championship, definitely when we were on tour, was the double jumping rule. So if we're bowling on the pair three and four, and I am up on lane three, who has to wait till I throw at least my first shot? The players on pair one and two and the players on the pair five and six have to wait until you've thrown your shot. And one of the things we want to key on is, like we said, throwing that first shot then allows the person on the left and a person on the right to take their turn. You don't have to wait for that bowler to execute their spare shot if they had you know, left pins on the deck because people shooting their spares, like you, you reiterated, you don't want to feel rushed on completing that shot. So once the first shot is executed, take your turn and then move on to the next frame. 